This video is about how to filter null values using dplyr. This is one of the common tasks that we'll use filtering for to remove null values uh, prior to an analysis. And based on what we've learned so far, we might try to do that filter something like this. So all of our filter commands start with the function filter parentheses the name of the table we want to filter we're using surveys for our example right now uh, and then the condition that we want to filter based on and so in this case we might naturally assume that it would be weight is not equal to na remember that na is how we write null values in r But if we run this, we'll see that we get an unexpected result. This tells us uh, that we've gotten back a table with zero rows in it. But we know that in the surveys table, there are lots of rows that have actual weights. So what's going on? Why didn't this work? And the reason this didn't work is that null values are special. Because they are missing data as opposed to actual data, we need to treat equality related to them differently. So for example, we don't want R to think that two rows in, the, in a data table that have null values for the species ID are the same species. We don't know anything about the species, so we don't want to think of them as being equal. And so in order to handle that, we use special commands when we're talking about null values and filtering. To illustrate this, we'll start by looking at the case where we want to filter our surveys table to get only the rows where the weights are null. And we do this still using the filter command, and we're still filtering the surveys table. But for the condition, we actually provide a function is.na, and it's a function, so then we have parentheses after it, and then we include the name of the column that we want to check to see if it's null. So we'll check the weight column here. And so this says, Give me all of the rows from the surveys table where the weight is null. And we can see that now uh, we've got the surveys table, but only the rows where the weight column is NA. Now that can be useful for checking our data and doing some, some quality checks, but most of the time what we want to do is only keep the rows where the data is not null. And so to do that, we use the not symbol that we've used before, the exclamation mark. And so we type filter, parentheses, surveys, comma, and then we include the not symbol before the is.na function. So not is.na parentheses weight. And so this says, give me all the rows from the surveys table where the weight value is not null. And we'll talk more about why this construction works in the same way as the more standard conditionals that we learned before later in the course when we get into conditionals in detail. Uh, but if we run this code, we'll see that it produces the result that we want. Uh, we have only actual weight values, no missing or null values at all, uh, and all of the rows in the table associated with that. It's also common to combine this kind of null filtering with the other kinds of filtering that we learned about last time. So for example, we might want all of the data on a single species where there were weight values, so where there were non-null weights. 
So to do that, we would combine the two types of filters we've seen so far uh, using AND. So we would say filter, the surveys table. We will go ahead and <clears throat> do the species filter. So we could say species ID is equal to DS. So that will get us only the rows where the species ID is DS. And then we want this to be an AND condition because we want DS to be true. And also we want no null values. And so we can use a comma and then exclamation mark for not is dot na parentheses of weight. And so now if we run this, we'll see that uh, we only have results with weights, with non-null weights, and we only have results where ds is the species. So that's the basic idea behind filtering null values in dplyr. Null values are special, so instead of using not equal to, we use the special function is.na to find rows where weight values are null, and we put the not symbol, the exclamation mark, in front of that to find only rows where the value is not null. But if we run this, 